Hello! Today, we're going to learn how to find the sum of the terms of a given arithmetic sequence, also known as arithmetic series. I am Cherry Dons and welcome to Grade 10 Mathematics. Our target, define series and differentiate it from a sequence, and find the sum of the terms of a given arithmetic sequence. Important Notes I have here a sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14. Yes, it is an arithmetic sequence because we have the same value of the common difference D and that is 3. Now, let us explore it more. What if we insert a plus sign in between the given terms? It becomes 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 14. What do we've got? We have the so-called arithmetic series. This is what an arithmetic series is. It is start as an arithmetic sequence and then we add up all the terms. Again, from the arithmetic sequence and we're gonna add them all up. That's what make it a series. Remember that an arithmetic series is the indicated sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. But how to find for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence? Here is the formula in finding the sum of the arithmetic sequence. S of n is equal to n over 2 multiplied by a sub 1 plus a sub n. We're going to use this formula if the last term is given. Or, S sub n is equal to n over 2 multiplied by 2 times a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d. We're going to use this formula if the last term is not given. Where... S sub n is the sum of the n terms, n is the number of terms, d is the common difference, a sub n is the n term, and a sub 1 is the first term. Example number 1. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic sequence 3, 6, 9, and so on. Solution. Given. S sub n is unknown, a sub 1 is 3, n is 20, d is 3. Applying the formula, we have S sub n is equal to n over 2 multiplied by 2 times A sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by D. We're going to use this formula because the n term is not given. Where 3 goes to A sub 1, 20 goes to n, 3 goes to D. We have now S sub 20 is equal to 20 over 2, that is 10, multiplied by 2 times 3, that is 6, plus quantity 20 minus 1, that is 19, multiplied by 3. So, S sub 20 is equal to 10 multiplied by 6 plus 19 times 3, that is 57. S sub 20 now is equal to 10 times quantity 6 plus 57, and that is 63. S sub 20 is equal to 10 times 63 and that is equal to 630. Therefore, the sum of the first 20 terms is 630. Example number 2. Find the sum of the first 14 terms of the arithmetic sequence 5, 9, 13, 17, and so on. Solution, given. S sub 14 is unknown. S sub 1 is 5. N is 14. D is 4. Applying the formula, we have S sub N is equal to N over 2 multiplied by 2 times A sub 1 plus quantity N minus 1 multiplied by D. We're going to use this formula because the N term is not given. Where 5 goes to A sub 1, 14 goes to N, and 4 goes to D. We have now S sub 14 is equal to 14 over 2, that is 7, multiplied by 2 times 5, that is 10, plus quantity 14 minus 1, that is 13, multiplied by 4. So, S sub 14 is equal to 7 multiplied by 10 plus 13 times 4, that is 52. S sub 14 now is equal to 7 times quantity 10 plus 52, and that is 62. S sub 14 is equal to 7 times 62, and that is equal to 434. Therefore, the sum of the first 14 terms is 434. Example number 3. 
Solve for the sum of arithmetic sequence 74 plus 64 plus 54 plus up to a sub 15. We're looking for s sub 15. Solution given. S of 15 is unknown, A sub 1 is 74, N is 15, D is negative 10. Applying the formula, S of N is equal to N over 2 multiplied by 2 times A sub 1 plus quantity N minus 1 multiplied by D. We're going to use this formula because the N term is not given. Where 74 goes to A sub 1, 15 goes to N, and negative 10 goes to D. We have now S of 15 is equal to 15 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 times 74. That is 148 plus quantity 15 minus 1 that is 14 multiplied by negative 10. So S of 15 is equal to 15 divided by 2 multiplied by 148 plus 14 times negative 10 that is negative 140. So, S of 15 now is equal to 15 divided by 2 times quantity 148 plus negative 140 and that is equal to 8. S of 15 is equal to 15 times 8 and that is equal to 120. So, S of 15 is equal to 120 divided by 2 that is 60. Therefore, the sum of the first 15 terms is 60. Example number 4. What will be the sum of an arithmetic sequence where a sub 1 is 14 and a sub 12 is 58? Solution, given a sub 12 is unknown, a sub 1 is 14, n is equal to 12, a sub 12 is equal to 58. Applying the formula we have, a sub n is equal to n over 2 multiplied by a sub 1 plus a sub n. We're using this formula because the last term is given. Where 14 goes to a sub 1, 12 goes to n, 58 goes to a sub n. We have now a sub 12 is equal to 12 divided by 2, that is 6, multiplied by 14 plus 58, and that is 72. So, a sub 12 is equal to 6 times 72. A sub 12 now is equal to 432. Therefore, the sum of the first 12 terms is 432. Example number 5. Find S sub 11 if A sub 1 is 5 and A sub 11 is equal to 65. Solution, given S sub 11 is unknown, A sub 1 is 5 and is equal to 11 and A sub 11 is 65. Applying the formula we have, S sub n is equal to n over 2 multiplied by A sub 1 plus A sub n. We're going to use this formula because the last term is given. Where 5 goes to a sub 1, 11 goes to n, 65 goes to a sub n. We have now a sub 11 is equal to 11 over 2 times 5 plus 65 and that is 70. A sub 11 is equal to 11 over 2 times 70. We multiply 11 to 70 that is equal to 770. A sub 11 now is equal to 770 divided by 2. It is equal to 385. Therefore, the sum of the first 11 terms is 385. Okay, it's your time to practice. Find the sum of each arithmetic sequence. Number 1, 2 plus 5 plus 8, of 2, the 42nd terms, you're going to solve for S sub 42. Number 2, negative 11, negative 7, and negative 3, and so on, you are asked to find for S sub 30. And number 3, a sub 1 is equal to 1, a sub n is equal to 100, solve for s sub 100. Don't forget to comment down your answer so we can check it. Good luck! I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless everyone!